hello friends uh, you must have watched the different videos which are posted on whatsapp prepared by our uh, cpd faculty members uh, in the same unit today i'll be dealing with sub unit that is sub topic of the unit number 6 interpersonal skill is teamwork you know teamwork is very much essential as uh, whenever you go to achieve something whatever you do to achieve something whatever you plan to achieve something so teamwork brings good results of course uh what teamwork is if you ask yourself the question seems simple but um, answer uh, answer of this question eludes many uh, the higher people in the hierarchies especially why teamwork is important we are going to talk about why teamwork is important at our place because you are going to work in a team so when it is a matter of teamwork when it's a question of teamwork there is no i in a teamwork there is v so that's why you have to surrender me and then you have to think about v means we together we all together so what uh, team building is uh, the development uh, life cycle of a team characteristics of a good team characteristics of good team members are uh, dealing with different or uh, the difficult personalities while working in a team and the common team problems along with how to improve team performances so this is what our agenda uh, for today's discussion but uh, before discussing uh, i would talk in general something about the teamwork it's a teamwork is a sense of unity you know very well that it is uh, an enthusiasm that a group people shares for their common interest and responsibilities everyone uh, looks up to individual responsibilities as well as the group's responsibilities in a teamwork if a teamwork is contributing uh, equally for the specific work or the task then definitely the task becomes you know, a kind of uh, good result especially uh, that uh, 10 ben benefits of the teamwork just i'll be talking in between while talking about the teamwork uh, there are certain uh, benefits at workplace when you work uh, in a team at workplace especially in the industries or in a group um, or in the offices so let us see one by one uh, this uh, story is about the teamwork that we are not going to talk about the story some important points are there so first of all before discussing about in detail let us see what team is it's a group of people working together towards a common goal where all the people come together they have the common goals so with the purpose of that just they come together that is been called as a team what the team building is it's easy to define the team but what team building is is it possible to build a team it is possible or is it easy that much is it to call or uh, gather all the people together with equal uh, thought with equal um, perspectives with equal approaches and with equal attitude and all team building is quite little bit difficult task whatever you think that's not that is not uh, easy that much creating an opportunity for people to come together to share concerns ideas experiences and to begin to work together to solve mutual problems and achieve common goals that is a team building that is defined over there okay now uh, the team development life cycle how the team is developed through the different stages that we are going to talk the first stage is that is forming second is storming third norming performing and adjourning let us see what are all those stage of a team building how to build a team or how team gets built with the different stages the first stage is that is forming uh step a uh, high dependence on leader for guidance and direction nobody knows about the actual responsibilities nobody knows about the actual task nobody knows about um the results or the outputs at the end of work this is the stage that is called as forming stage because uh, all the team members especially team members are dependent upon the leaders their guidance and their directions because they are unaware about everything about their performances after joining a particular team a little agreement on a team so agreement uh, 
means especially while uh, talking something about the task whole and soul uh, decisions are taken by the particular uh, leader of a team individual roles and responsibilities are unclear so nobody is aware about his or her own responsibility what he or she is going to do when he or she will be there in a team so they are unaware about that so this is the first stage stage of entrance in a team stage of making entry in a team leader must be prepared to answer lots of questions about the team's purpose objectives and external relationships of course being a team member being a new team member it's possible and it's quite natural that somebody can ask the different questions related with the objectives related with the responsibilities so leader is um, um, uh, leader is uh, supposed to uh, answer the different kinds of questions because you uh, you ask the question why because you don't know anything about that decisions don't come easily within group the second stage i'm going to talk about that is a storming stage the first one that is forming second one that is storming stage in this stage decisions don't come easily within group why of course team members compete for position team members every team members looks for the position somebody says i don't want to work on this position somebody says i don't want i'm not comfortable with this particular position so that's why i can work on some other if you take uh, the different examples of our uh, activities that we conduct in our college so when you come together for campaigning purpose your team leader and distributes the different kinds of responsibilities at that time you must have experienced that type of situation while working uh, for uh, the different kinds of programs such as apigan pioneer and all you must have experienced it so sometimes we feel that uh, sometimes you say to your um, leader that i don't want to work on this particular uh, position because uh, leader is introducing the different kinds of responsibilities to you people in this stage so this stage is a storming stage so team members compete for position in this particular stage clarity of purpose increases but plenty of uncertainties exist the purpose is cleared over here but uh, uncertainties are there we don't expect that everyone will be uh, easily ready to accept the roles and responsibilities so this is the stage second stage of uh, team building so, uh, the, the next one that is compromises may, may be required to enable the progress compromising is important but we don't want to compromise at all in any stage the third stage is that is norming stage now look at this third stage agreement and consensus forms amongst team now uh, in the first stage nobody knows about the responsibilities in the second stage responsibilities are distributed but uh, varied opinions um, may be appear by the team members sometimes the the i would say that uh, the opposition about the carrying responsibilities that can happen this third stage uh, everyone got to know about their task okay so now this is the norming stage agreement and consensus forms among team roles and responsibilities are clear and accepted in this stage uh, big decisions are made by group agreement now uh, everyone carries his or her responsibilities individually but the decisions are made by group agreement it they are not um, decided individually commitment and unity is strong in this particular stage the team discusses and develops its process and working style now the different working strategies are defined the working processes are defined here in the stage of norming uh, there is general respect for the leader and some of leadership is uh, shared of course uh, every uh, individual in a team looks at a leader with a proper respect performing stage the stage fourth is performing the team clearly knows why it is doing and what it is doing uh, the team has a shared a vision there is a focus on over achieving goals uh, disagreements occur but now they are resolved within the team positivity uh, the team is able to work towards achieving the goal team members look after each other the team does not need to be instructed or assisted so this is the actual stage of the performances all came together the distributed uh, the responsibilities distributed according to that started to work now it is actual performance 
In this particular stage, the different kinds of disagreements may occur, but they are resolved within the team positively because every individual tries to give different opinions about the disagreements. The stage five, that is adjourning. What this stage is? Adjourning is the breakup of the group. Once you come together, you dispatch, you disperse after completing the particular task. So that is the stage, stage of, that is called as a stage of adjourning. Adjourning is the breakup of the uh, group. Hopefully when their task is completed successfully, their purpose fulfilled, everyone can move on to uh, new things, feeling good about what's been achieved. From an organizational uh, perspective, recognition of uh, and sensitivity to people's vulnerabilities during this fifth stage is helpful. Feelings of insecurity would be natural, of course, you are dispersing now now after these five stages of team building now we are moving to the next that is characteristics of a good team after uh, this at all there are certain characteristics of a good team everyone participates actively and positively if your team is good how we can say that team is a good and everyone is working properly if everyone is participating actively and positively then definitely we can call your team is good and you are doing good team goals are un understood uh, by everyone everyone is aware about the goals and uh, the targets in a team then we can call it as a uh, good team everyone takes initiative to get things done every individual tries um, to his or her best to give something uh, as a result oriented each teammate trusts the judgment of the others and the team is willing to take risk as a team or being a team members sometimes you have to take a risk for the better results and of course without risk it's not possible to find out the better results or to see the good outputs at the end of a particular task or a work everyone is supportive of the project and of the others of course everyone is supportive in a team when there is uh, support proper support of the leader proper support of all the team members or the colleagues then it is a good team of course sometimes you must have experienced some bitter experiences while working uh, in a team so on that basis you can think about the characteristics of a good team team goals are given realistic time frames uh, every team has the specific goals and aims and objectives in front of them but you must think about the time limits also so all those goals must be achieved within a time frame if your work is getting delayed and delayed uh, then definitely we can call, cannot call it as a good team work and all of course there is lacking something it may be a lack of communication it may be mutual understanding it may be a lack of trust amongst the team members and all so if you don't want to see if you don't want to experience those things then definitely your goal must be achieved within a realistic time frame so that's why time limit is also important then we call we can call it as a good team everyone is focused on the ultimate goal of the project what the project you are doing so everyone is uh, focused on that particular uh, target or the work so see uh, these are the different characteristics of a good team member now we saw we talked about uh, the the characteristics of a good team now we are going to talk about the characteristics of team members uh, of course let us see uh, good team members always uh, team member shares openly and authentically means whatever information or the ideas he or she has he or she used to uh, share it authentically or the openly uh, good team members uh, always involves others in uh, the decision making processes he or she doesn't uh, seem himself or herself uh, alienated or aloof from the team uh, a lot of trust is there a lot of support is there and has genuine concern for other team members in, in, in with that particular team member uh, a good team member always owns problems rather than blaming them on others sometimes we have to accept the mistakes but we don't it has been observed that some of sometimes uh, some members team members they don't want to accept the mistakes and due to that um, the, the different complex and uh, the complicated situations or some conflicting uh, atmosphere may create in a team so that's why if you want to avoid such type of things if you don't want to outburst the teams if you don't want to uh, scatter the team then definitely you have to uh, 
accept the realities what the reality is you have to accept the problems with the instead of blaming others attempts to uh, hear and interpret communication from others point of view when he or she communicates he tries to he or she tries to interpret it by other sense uh, he or she influences others by involving them in the issues and encourages the development of other team members and this so consider and uses uh, new ideas and suggestions from others understands and uh, is committed to team objectives always does not engage in win lose activities with other team members because everyone is equal in the team so that's why nobody is a competitor in a same team so of course the other teams may be competitors for you people but the team members same team members may not be competitors so that's why a good team member cannot engage himself or herself in a win lose activities rather than he looks uh, at the team as a single team uh being a team leader what the things you should have a team leader should be uh, creating trust amongst team members allowing differences of course every individual has the different perspective so that's why a good team leader should accept and understand the approaches and attitudes of all the team members so that's why he must be able to allow the differences while working in a team recognizing individual strengths styles and skills is important being a good team leader so team leader should be uh, um, what you can say aware of uh, the strengths of his or her team members so that why he or she can use all the strengths of all the team members uh, the strengths of the team members for uh, uh, better results or good outputs at the end of a particular task so keep in mind this when you are going to work in the industries you must be a good team leader you should be a good team leader uh, keeping lines of communication Uh, flexible of course rigidity should not be there flexibility should be there everyone should communicate very freely and openly without any kind of hesitations with a team leader uh, the team leader should ensure the tolerance allowing mistakes encouraging silly ideas sometimes it happens that we feel uh, somebody is talking some gives different ideas we laugh at him or her uh, why because we feel that he or she is uh, saying something is uh, a foolish same something is use uh, useless and all but sometimes we can find out useful things to useless hmm? best out of waste like this so that's why team leader should encourage some silly ideas also uh so these are the different personality types that we are going to uh, the, uh, we are not going to talk about that personality types already you have studied you must have studied it you must have watched it in a personality development uh, in this same unit uh now while working in a team we come across with the different kinds of personalities we don't come across with the same types of personalities or the same people having the same approaches and same thoughts so how to deal with the different kinds of personalities while working in a team uh hostile and aggressive definitely there must be aggressive people in your team what kind of these personalities are the people who are try hard to hurt and overwhelm by bombarding others with cutting remarks this type of people always try to dominate the others they are aggressive they try to uh, hurt or they try to overwhelm uh, by bombarding others with cutting remarks and all they try to decrease the confidence level of a group member sometimes that happen we don't come across with the same types of approaches in a team while working in a team now how to deal with these people stand up for yourself give them time to run down look directly at them and wait so this is the solution to deal with such type of people now you can think how to deal with okay uh there are certain uh, uh personalities in a team second type of this uh, personality is the complainers this type of people also you will come across while working in a team so what type of these people are these people who complain strongly um, without uh, ceasing but never try to do anything about what they complain about only they are complaining and complaining they keep themselves engaged always complaining but they don't do anything you must have come across with such type of uh, your classmates or they do nothing but they complain again 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 but they don't uh, neither they help the others nor they do individually only they complain about the others now how to deal with such type of personalities listen attentively to them what they are saying but don't let them dwell on complaints don't let them go a deeper deeper and deeper about the complaints in this case you have to oppose them you have to prove yourself how you are right acknowledge by paraphrasing their concerns try to paraphrase their concern 
what actually they are saying try to find out the intentional meaning because sometimes it happens that some people say something uh, um, the external talk we feel is a surface level talk we feel is something different but their deeper meaning is quite different means sarcastic talk of the people or some um, ironical talk of the people you can understand whether that person is talking uh, freely or ironically or he or she is criticizing try to understand or try to paraphrase his or her talk keep things optimistic try to keep things uh, optimistic with these people ask what are you willing to do to remedy the situation you can ask whether he is going to provide any solution to the situation or the problems now the next person next type of person that you will come across while working in a group or a team is silent and unresponsive people who answer when they answer at all with grunts or uh, yes no responses they don't want to um, make any kind of argumentation this just they answer with only two words either in a s or in a no manner uh, now how to deal with these people in a team don't interrupt silence give them some time to open up let them speak something ask open-ended questions to them if it is possible for you listen attentively if they open up but do not gush with them now of mm, the fourth word is that super agreeables now see these people they are the very personable funny people who never act way uh, that they say they will or how you thought they would now how to uh, deal with such personalities let them know you value them as a person because sometimes uh, opposite person don't understand how do you deal with them how do you treat them and all so that's and let them know with your work you can let them know you can make them to understand you with the help of uh, your work your contribution just do something as like that they can understand you ask them to be honest with you carefully point of uh, point out the inconsistencies in their behavior so these are the some of the ways to deal with these types of people okay now know it all experts <laughs> you must have come across uh, whenever uh, you you must have come across these people these types of students also whatever you talk yes they say first yes i know that pompous people that we call okay whatever even though something not happened in the universe and if you are going to tell them um, sun rises in the west then definitely they will say yes i know that <laughs> this type of people know it all experts means some you must have experienced uh, yes yes i know whatever you are telling them whatever happened or uh, we, when you come across the thing for the first time and you say them yes i know that means i know kind of attitude i know kind of means he or she knows he or she tries to um, show that he or she knows everything uh, condescending pompous people who claim to know all about everyone and everything okay how to handle this type of personalities while working in a team never ignore them just simply look at them say yes know what you are talking about when you converse with them question firmly about inaccurate facts or inconsistencies but do not oppose them in a group situation they are always harmful now see the common team problems when you work in a team generally we face some common problems while working in a team what are all those problems let us see uh, overbearing or dominating participants unwilling to become involved sometimes some people don't want to get involved in a work only they are team members for the sake of register uh, unquestioned acceptance of opinions as facts rush to accomplishment and uh, quarreling members <laughs> this these people are really harmful for the teams and all be aware of these people uh, disconnected lack of contact between team members so these are some of the common uh, team members now you can avoid the things group members should avoid the following behaviors being overly aggressive towards other team members withdrawing and refusing to cooperate with others Horsing around when there is work to be done, using the group 
as a forum for self confession talking too much about irrelevant matters trying to compete for attention and recognition so these are the things that you can avoid while working in a team now see the different stages of a team building how the actual team is uh, built at the first stage you say that hello i am at the second stage means the first stage forming in that you say that hello i am what's our destination you don't know about yourself that's why you ask the question stage 3 what are the cost or the benefits as pursued by the individual in the team now you are aware of your responsibility role and responsibility stage 4 what skill do we need to acquire after that when you come across that you are whether you are able to carry that responsibility or not then you find out your lacunas or the lackings or the weaknesses and then you ask about yourself what the skills do we need to acquire as a team member stage 5 what is the best route to reach up to the target stage 6 how can we compromise and work together compromising is important compromise with different attitudes different approaches different thoughts different perspectives and uh, the ways of behaviors and all and at the last stage there you see we are means when i am converts into we are then it becomes t okay and now you must have uh, got little ideas about uh, the teams and uh, the team members now there are certain uh, benefits uh, whereas uh, you get uh, through the teamwork the first that is new ideas you come across with the new ideas whenever you work in a team of course teamwork improves efficiency in any every type of work and definitely you will find a better quality in a work uh, higher moral is there when you work in a team uh, and group cohesion is there that is very much essential in every team more learning opportunities because every individual contributes something different so that's why you will understand the different kinds of expertises and the knowledge levels of all the team members sense of accomplishment and a faster innovation you will understand about that you will uh, find something new uh, less managerial interferences and uh, the last one that is i would say rather a stronger working relationships which is very much very much very much essential where as far as your industrial work is concerned i would like to explain this last point that is stronger working relationships when your employees work together and succeed together they form strong working relationships of course the relationship is uh, developed here after the uh, good uh, results at the end of a task those relationships can, relationships can uh, grow include mutual trust and uh, maybe even friendship under the right circumstances circumstances right so this is what uh, about uh, the teamwork now at the end of this point i would say that while working in a team motivate support and cooperate and build a good team okay so this is what all about teamwork and the team building hope that all of you must have understood what the teamwork is okay so try to build a good team whenever it's a matter of building team thank you very much